think that it would be much better to use text to speech for this as it would be a whole lot easier. Note that the timing stated in the following isn't accurate, and only serves as a rough estimate. Anyway, let's get straight in. So, it has been 38 straight hours, and barely any news from the website. The site is completely down, and only shows some text stating we will be back and somewhere along the lines of that. What exactly caused this, and why is it taking so long to fix the outage this time? For this, we have to look a couple of days back before all this chaos happened. Before this, free slight site disruptions has already occurred, and although it might have already been fixed quickly, they are a little suspicious don't you think? The free disruptions happened in the span of two weeks, which is already a huge red flag as outages don't happen that often. Another red flag is that all these free disruptions were about the website, connection problems, and authentication problems. Now, the outage today were all these three happening together. Now let's look at what happened at the time when the outage happened. Supposing you were there, you would be confused. Imagine this, you are inside the Chipotle event game trying to snag up some free burritos, when suddenly the whole site started to not load, games started to crash, and basically the whole site was coming down. Everyone's avatars became noobs when they joined, and basically nothing was working as it should have. It was a very serious crash, and would take some time to fix. After a few minutes, the status update report was changed. What was affected everything? Everything was affected, the studio, the games, and literally everything came crashing down like a dilapidated building. Soon after, the crash victims made its way to none other than Twitter. Everyone was reporting the crash that they saw, some were chill, thinking it would be back in no time, some thought this was going to take a longer time to fix. Others were confused and didn't know what was happening. It was like a nuclear disaster, everybody were confused, trying to look for clues on what can possibly do this to Roblox, but alas, nobody was very worried, and so they waited. Two whole hours passed, and the site was still not fixed. This was when hectic chaos happened. Everyone was crying about it on Twitter, not knowing what to do. Some people also concluded that the huge influx of traffic in the Chipotle game caused this. Others thought it could be a malicious cyber attack on the servers. As we all know, Roblox servers literally run on potatoes, and they refused to upgrade it. Everyone was complaining and complaining, and without any updates from Roblox, nor the status report, everyone was left in the dark. Six hours in. The people on Twitter was suddenly reporting that the site was somewhat working. Others were reporting that they have gotten logged out of their accounts. Obviously it wasn't a hack or anything. Any sane person would know that. However the theory was circulating around the Roblox community. And many people bought it. This was also where people started turning this into their favor. Many people were using it to advertise their things, even Smez were using the hashtag to promote their business. The topic was so trending, it stayed there for as long as the site was down, and there was no backing down. Tweets about it came on an average of 4 seconds, and it was either memes about Roblox's trash servers, or about how they can go in the site. 9 hours in. Nearly everyone was completely logged out of their accounts, and the remaining survivors were left to gaze upon the games that were once bustling with players, empty. There were zero concurrent players, and it felt like a ghost town. The site had completely broken down, with little to no signs of recovery. This was definitely a foreign experience for many of us, as this isn't something you can see every day. Many news sources and Twitter users also realized that this was the longest server outage ever, something questionable to commemorate. 11 hours in, there were signs on recovery on the site. Everyone were very excited, 
thinking that they would be able to play a game. Mobile players, they weren't enjoying it as much as they had gotten logged out. However, they can't play anything, nor do anything on the website, as nothing was loading, and so players sought refuge on Twitter, not knowing what to do. At this time, there were some theories that was concluded by many, these included Adopt me or ship at all's fault, it was a DDoS attack, or a huge server bug that caused the whole site to crash. Of course these were just theories, and many were quite skeptical about this. 15 hours in, the site was actually starting to recover, and players started to manage to play games on Roblox, but however was very unstable. Many API were starting to get fixed, and many thanked the Roblox engineers for fixing it so fast. Data stores, avatar customization, purchases, and authentication still wasn't working. And those unlucky enough to get logged off could only see what is happening by the cameras of fellow Twitter users. 19 hours in. The official Roblox Twitter has finally made an update, acknowledging that this was one of the longest outages that they have ever had, and that they are fixing it. There it was, the glimmer of hope was shining right before disappointed players, and knowing that it would be done in no time, and they can return to Roblox again. 23 hours in, it has almost been a full day, yet nothing was happening. Players were still able to play games that were stable enough to run, like Natural Disaster Survival, with fellow players who survived not being logged out of their accounts. People were starting to calm down, knowing it wouldn't be long till they can be back again on their daily grind on Roblox. 25 hours in, chaos struck again. Games were suddenly not running again. And the site was starting to break down, again. This time however, people started to quit whatever they were playing, and hoping that the site still could run. As many believed the amount of data needed to run different servers were starting to take a toll on the site. 29 hours in, players were back to square one, not knowing what to do. Many smart players moved on to other games like Minecraft, while others sulked, coming up with random theories on what happened. This time, the Roblox app started to crash. A connection with the servers cannot be made on mobile devices, even with perfect internet. This caused many panic in Twitter, and it quickly died down, knowing that it probably would do absolutely nothing. 32 hours in, Roblox released another statement, as a way to debunk any theories on to why Roblox was down for such an ungodly time. Roblox stated, we know that the outage isn't caused by experiences, and sponsorships on our platform. This meant that Chipotle and Adopt Me had nothing to do with this, leaving with a cyber attack being possible, or a huge server bug. Players also started to look into the bright side, and noting that not playing Roblox has made them realize that they have missed a lot while being online most of the time meaning that many players were fairly addicted to the game, and that definitely includes me, which is why I'm making this short documentary podcast. 35 hours in, no signs of recovery. The site straight up went to flying for maintenance, showing this on the screen if you try to get in. Many referred to this like the Fortnite black hole event, when many Fortnite players couldn't play the game, except for this case. It wasn't part of a live event. Chipotle seemed to have caught wind of this, because they tweeted to Roblox, Miss you bro. 37 hours in, the Roblox app was starting to slowly recover, with mobile players being able to come to the login page again. And that was the timeline that led us to now. So. What exactly caused this many speculated that this was a cyber attack, however a new source stated that it might not have been a cyber attack aimed at Roblox. So what was it? It definitely couldn't be a server bug, as most server outages only last for 30 minutes to an hour, so if this was an actual server bug, it would have at least took 3 hours to fix. At least that was what many thought to be. 
If we look at the second longest server outage, that lasted 12 hours, what does this have in common with this outage? That's right, hardware. Software isn't that hard to fix as you just need to fix up some bugs in the code and you're basically set. However, hardware is different. Hardware means that the server parts doesn't work, and require actual fixing on the server itself. This process will take a lot of time, depending on how bad the damage was. So the next time you play a game on Roblox, just know that Roblox servers are still as terrible, and you shouldn't take it for granted, or this is going to just happen again. Speaking of this, does anyone want a burrito?